All right, maybe some of you can relate with me. I've been looking at this backdrop for a couple weeks now and I'm ready to make some changes. So if you got an idea, comment below. I'd love to hear it. And back to the topic of this video, we are talking about Procreate brushes and how to create a tree stamp brush. So the cool thing about this tutorial is even if you don't want your brush to be a tree, you can use this method to create any kind of stamp brush. You could do, uh, you could do anything. You could do flowers, you could do clouds, you could do, you name it just apply this method and you can do it so without further ado let's get to it okay so right off the bat i'm just going to open up google and search pine tree silhouette go to images and i am going to find my tree all right i found the tree that i want to use and this one does have a background so i figured i'd show you how to remove the background on image as well to create a brush. So I'm gonna hold down on my image and I'm gonna copy the image. And once it's copied, I'm gonna go into Procreate on a new canvas and I'm gonna three finger swipe down and paste in that tree. And we're gonna take out this background. So I'm gonna turn off my background layer, gonna to go to the selection tool and make sure automatic is selected. And I'm gonna tap on the white background and you can see that it turns it black which means that everything is selected. You can tap on these little areas in here if you wanna remove those as well. If you tap on the tree itself, it's gonna turn white and you need to undo, otherwise this won't work. So I think that looks good. So once you're happy with everything, go to the cursor tool and now you can see that I have the background clipped out and I can just three finger swipe down and cut that out. So now if I turn on my background and change the colors, you can see that we took it out. Okay, so the next step is actually to fill this tree in white because that's what you need to do for a Procreate brush. So I'm gonna grab pure white and drag it on top of the image. It's filled and now we can create the brush. So to create the brush, I'm first gonna copy my layer, tap the brush icon. I'm gonna create a new brush category called trees and I'm gonna click plus up here to create the brush. So in the brush studio, the first thing we wanna do is go to shape and we're gonna edit the shape source and we can import in that tree that we just copied with the paste. So there we have it. And as you can see, I have a little background on here that I need to go back to my image and clean up. So I'm gonna do that real quick. So I took out that little border that I forgot to remove and I figured I would mention that if you want to customize your tree in any way here, you can do so. So you can add to it or remove from it by erasing and create your own unique brush. So do whatever you feel and yeah, just a little bonus. Okay, so now to resume, we're gonna copy this layer Gonna go back to our trees and I'm gonna click add a brush, back to shape, edit the shape source, import in and paste. So now you can see it looks good and click done. This we can clear and next we're gonna go down to properties and we're gonna wanna turn on stamp preview. You can tap here to see and adjust the maximum size and minimum size as well. And as you can see, I have pressure sensitivity on this brush currently. So the harder that I tap, the harder it's gonna show up. And if you want to turn that off, go to Apple Pencil. And the opacity is right now set to max. Turn it all the way down to zero or none. And then every time you tap, it'll be at full opacity. So that is how you adjust that opacity. And there's a few other things you can do here. You can add in the made by, so I can type in my name, made by Drew, and I can sign it. And you can also name the brush up here, pine tree. Now you can see that I'm back in my canvas, add a new layer, and you can see that if I'm tapping, I'm creating those trees. You can also drag and draw like a pen. 
And then you can do some cool stuff like lower the opacity and put a layer behind. Might as well make some cool art here. Yeah, and there you go. Go crazy, get creative, and have a blast. And just make cool stuff. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.